Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will talk about uh, upcoming exam, CSIM NET exam, right? Okay, so first of all, we take how many sections in this question set, right? So there are uh, three sections of question set: uh, section A, section D, and section C. Okay, uh, section A are based on general aptitude type of question. Section B and section C are based on chemistry type of questions. Okay, section A comes with twenty total mark. Total questions okay, uh, and in which 15, uh, 15 questions is a maximum questions okay. What do you mean about maximum questions? If you are able to solve uh, 18 questions out of 20 questions okay, so first 15 questions are take uh, in your uh, take account in your marks, other three questions are neglected okay, even there, even these are right questions okay. Uh, so uh, 15 questions is a right, uh, so 15 uh, qu questions is a maximum questions for section A, okay. And per right questions give 2 marks, right. So total you can achieve by section A marks is a 30 marks, right. And uh, as uh, section B, section B uh, having a total questions 40 questions in which if, uh, maximum questions is 35 questions and per right questions give 2 marks, okay. And uh, you can achieve total marks uh, uh, from section B is uh, seven, uh, 70, right? And uh, in section C having a total 60 questions in which 25 is maximum questions per right questions give 4 marks and you can achieve uh, total uh, marks from section C is uh, 100, okay? So, uh, uh, question C come with uh, a total 200 marks, right? Uh, 30 and 70, 100 and 100 and 200, right? So, question sheet co come with total 200 marks, okay? So, according to me, uh, when you solve this question sheet, you first take a section C, okay? There is two reasons to take a section C. Uh, first is that, uh, uh, you can see section C having a total 60 questions, okay? And in which 25 is a maximum question. It means 35 questions, uh, 35, uh, 35 questions, uh, uh, more option to take your right answer. Okay, and uh, second reason is uh, uh, in question uh, in uh, section C per right questions give four marks. Okay, so this two two reason there uh, there are more options to take right answer and per questions give uh, four marks. So you first take a section C. Okay. And after you solve section C, you take us, uh, you take section B for solving the questions. Okay, uh, not a section A because certain concept of uh, questions are related to uh, section B and section C. So after the solving of section C, you take a section B for solving the questions. Okay, and the section B are questions and maximum questions are right here. Okay, and uh, after solving a section B and section C. You can uh, you take a uh, section A okay and section A uh, based on general aptitude type of questions and uh, general aptitude are uh, very easy not of uh, you know uh, hard tough you know okay uh, so and this is a uh, solving track okay so first you take uh, section C section B and uh, after section B you can you take section A okay. So now we discuss about some important chemistry topic that come in CSI and NAT exam most probably, right? So uh, first we take a uh, inorganic chemistry, uh, inorganic chemistry topic, right? Okay. So okay. So I just write some topics and these topics are coming in NAT exam most probably. Okay. In which first topic is a uh, inner or outer complex. Okay. And inner or outer complex give minimum two marks in the NAT exam. Okay. 18 rules, 18 rules give 2 marks, Boron structure, Boron structure give 2 marks, right, okay, and VSCPR theory, VSCPR theory gives 2 marks, number of metal metal bond in complex, uh, it's give 2 marks, okay, bio inorganic, bio inorganic gives 4 marks, right, okay, and lanthanide property, lanthanide property are gives 4 marks, okay, and coordination compound reaction and stability, it's give Four marks. Okay, and next oxidation state. Oxidation state is gives two marks. Okay, and um, inorganic spectroscopy like, like uh, APR, MOSPUR, and IR, it's a give eight marks. It's a, it's give major mark eight mark. Okay, uh, so most probably and most uh, you know uh, uh, major marks uh, topic is a inorganic spectroscopy, APR, MOSPUR, and IR. Okay, 
so a uh, total marks uh, approximate 32 okay so in this net exam inorganic chemistry gives approximate 32 marks uh, okay yeah and these topics are uh, mostly come in the net exam okay and uh, next we take a uh, 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 organic chemistry okay. so uh, in this organic chemistry uh, first topic is a uh, rs nomenclature of bicycloalanes and a normal it's give uh, two marks okay and next is a conformation of cyclohexane it's also give two marks okay and st uh, stability order it's also give a uh, two marks and this aromaticity it's give also two marks and the pericyclic it's give a uh, six mark okay and my previous uh, my previous video also on pericyclic okay you can see uh, and uh, photochemistry it's also give a uh, two marks and organic spectroscopy uh, uh, like animal and ir okay uh, it's give a 10 mark okay so you can see in this uh, in this inorganic chemistry also organic chemistry uh, give a maximum marks and in is uh, inorganic chemistry organic spectroscopy give a maximum marks okay so uh, you should clear concept of spectroscopy in organic inorganic okay yeah right and physical okay so now we take uh, now we take a uh, physical chemistry topic okay and uh, this uh, approximate uh, uh, total marks is a 26 okay yeah now we take a uh, uh, physical chemistry in this physical chemistry uh, uh, first topic is a group theory and in this group theory character tables and point group okay character table and point group give six marks okay and uh, quantum in this quantum determinacy energy of one dimensional two dimensional and three dimensional uh, uh, okay uh, it's give a two, uh, two marks like uh, right okay and the micro state and uh, commutator and operator it's give also two marks okay and the kinetic in this kinetic order of reactions half life and uh, enzyme enzyme kinetic it's give a uh, seven marks right okay and uh, po polymer chemistry okay in this polymer chemistry mass of polymers and in the surface chemistry longumer okay it's give a uh, eight marks okay and the thermodynamic in this thermodynamic um, the maximum relations it's give also two marks okay and uh, uh, electro uh, electrochemistry electrochemistry in nets equations and dl lambert law it's also give a uh, two marks and uh, and solid state okay solid state gives four marks right okay and uh, molecular spectroscopy ir rotational vibrationals and roman spectroscopy it give a uh, six mark okay it means spectroscopy uh, related to physical chemistry it also give a uh, maximum marks okay and also polymer chemistry has give a uh, maximum marks okay so the this topic uh, related to physical chemistry, organic chemistry and inorganic chemistry are coming CSI and NET 2080 and uh, you can achieve uh, a 90 plus marks okay uh, you can see uh, 32 uh, organic and uh, 26 inorganic and uh, 39 physical okay so approximate uh, 97 you can, okay so you can achieve 97 marks you know uh, approximate 90 plus marks uh, by focus on this topics okay you can also focus on other topics to uh, uh, increase your marks okay and uh, i just repeat it you first take a section c okay and i i just say in hindi sone ki murgi hai bhai usko pehle choose karna hal karne ke liye right okay so if you like this video please like share and comment okay